everybody, welcome back to Time for Tea with V. It's been about a year, so very welcome back and into 2017. I have promised that I would do a surprise for Paco. So this video is kind of for him. So surprise, I'm currently recording this at 11.01 at the moment. So it's a lot later than what I would have wanted to. I did try doing it earlier, but then I ended up meeting my best friend for some afternoon tea as well, which was beautiful. Last time you saw me, I wasn't exactly myself because I had been ill and I ended up meeting my current boyfriend, Paco. He works away from home. He has actually moved in to my lovely, lovely flat. Um, it doesn't look very manly because like I said, he hasn't, he only comes back every other like weekend or so when he can because he's actually in the forces. At the moment, he's away with the army in France. And because he's away so often, I thought I would actually dedicate this video towards him. Now, it's not going to be a lovey-dovey video, so just to pre-warn, might be a little bit lovey-dovey. It's not going to be like, oh, pass me the sick bucket, Ugh, like that. Don't worry, like I, I am very, very much happy and I'm very, very much in love. Rest assured, I do love him a lot, but you know, you don't need to know all about that. So this one's kind of like a deer packet, but I have to say, as 2016 was, I'm happy to have 2017. I had an amazing year with ups and downs. The downs was being ill, the ups was definitely meeting Paco. I ended up doing a lot of traveling and I love traveling, and this is something I want to take into 2017 with me. So what I thought this video could be about is what I plan to do for 2017. So I have my phone here, and I have wrote out what I want to happen in 2017, or what I'd like to happen in 2017. I always do a list, I don't do resolutions, I do a list of things that I'd like to be able to achieve in the year as well. Some of the ones that happened in 2016 did happen, some of them didn't, so I've take, kind of taken it over to 2017 as well. I put, as the first one, learn to speak Spanish. So I'm guessing you'll notice by the name of my boyfriend called Paco, he is Spanish. We are gonna be going to Spain to meet the rest of his family, who I think some of them can't speak English, and hopefully I will be able to speak Spanish. I'm actually gonna to go to the local college and see if I can get a night school in there, hopefully as well. I know there's one in February, so we'll see how we get on with that one. So there's, hola, um, ¿qué tal? Which is, how are you? Muy bien, which is, I'm good. No muy bien, which is, I'm not good, obviously. Si, sí. yes, gracias. Now, when me and Paco, we went over to Spain to go see his parents over there, it was a quick stay anyway, but everybody he was speaking to, they were also talking to me. And instead of doing the polite thing, I thought it was more polite to be like, si, sí, gracias, si, sí, gracias. And I had no idea what they were on about. I just kept looking, so I was like, hmm. But I have to say, Spanish people, you are so friendly. And I felt so rude, the fact that I've actually not ended up learning how to speak Spanish. And also, for even more annoyed, because Paco ended up saying that he would teach me, but with him not having enough time to spend for me at times, it's a bit difficult to fit it all in one a weekend, because you want to do so much, you've got so many dates to do as well. Number one that I've already started doing actually is a 21 day fitness challenge as well. So for those of you who have me on Facebook, you will know that I've started this as well. 21 day fitness challenge, it can be anything guys. So you can start off by going for walks, swimming, bike riding. Obviously I'm just doing, you know, going off to the jump revolution place. I did that today actually. I ended up doing the gladiator thing with one of the girls as well. And I ended up landing on my coccyx. Yeah, I ended up landing, we have a beam that you stand on and you get the gladiators and I'm like a little kid. And I ended up, obviously, the girl was amazing. And I was like thinking, I thought, oh my God, crap. She's actually really, really good. I thought I was really good, plus I'm quite competitive. So there she is, knocking me off this. The second time, it was fine the first time, but the second time, 
She ended up falling in anyway, but she did knock me off. It just so happens that I landed in the middle of the beam and my bum literally went onto the beam and oh my God, the bruise. I'm gonna have a massive bruise tomorrow. The 21 day fitness challenge, and that also leads to me doing my pole dancing. So before, obviously 2017, before Christmas, I started doing pole dancing. And I do have to say, I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. I've decided that I'm gonna do it twice a week now. And then hopefully, by the time it gets to April, and after doing it twice a week, I should be good enough to allow myself to have my own pole. So anyone know any good poles that I can just put up and put back down, let me know as well. And then hopefully I'll be able to have a bit more practicing. So the other thing that I'd like to do is by the end of the year, providing how good I've gotten at pole dancing is going to a competition, but we will have to see about that. So obviously do more challenges, so such as like the pole dancing competitions. There's also this inflatable um, 5K, as well, I really, really want to do that. That's all the way in Newark in, I think it's in the summertime, not sure when it is, but I definitely want to do that. Start doing regular videos. Now this is a must for me because I do love doing my videos. And even though I know I talk and talk and talk, and I even have some people, because I work for Estee Lauder, and most people that I have come see me, my lovely Estee Lauder ladies, they've all said, why don't you do your own makeup videos? because just to make it simpler or they can watch me when they're at home, etc. And that is something I'm definitely gonna do, but I'm just no good at the editing, guys. I'm terrible with technology as it is. So that's something that I am gonna have to practice again and just put a bit more time into. Do more traveling. That is definitely something I would 100% love to do. I've always loved traveling. I've always loved going on planes, loved going on any sort of transport, really. And, but the whole problem with me is I've never had anyone to do it. So when I met Paco, we went to places such as like Spain, Edinburgh, and the best one I did before Christmas was I got invited to going to Teens in France as well. And I'd never been to the Alps, never skied before. I only went there for three days and it was amazing. Meeting all of Paco's friends who work with him. They were all so lovely, all friendly, and it was amazing. And then for New Year's, I always wanted to spend New Year's in London. And as quick as it went by, it was amazing. And looking at Winter Wonderland. I've never been to Winter Wonderland, so maybe that's something to do next year as well. So definitely I'll put that on the list. I'd like to go back to Edinburgh as well, because we only spent, I think it was like two, two or three nights there. We stayed with Paco's friend Ollie, and it was so beautiful, but again, so limited to time. And also I'd like to go back to Edinburgh Zoo and to see the panda, because when we went to Edinburgh Zoo, the panda was hormonal. Yep, had to be the time I went that the panda is actually hormonal and she basically had to come out on her own accord. We went back to look round at the zoo and then we went back to the panda and she'd been out 10 minutes just before we got there. So that was a little bit annoying, but you can't help the panda. So I'd like to go back in to Edinburgh for a good week as well. Met some amazing people. Also, I'd like to take Paco to Worcester, which is where I spent time at university there. And it, it's beautiful. It's really, really pretty. It's one of the places that I was really fond of as well. So I'd like to take him there so he can have a look there. Do more volunteering with Look Good Feel Better. I love Look Good Feel Better. So for those of you who don't know what Look Good Feel Better is, it's a charity that if women who have been dealing with cancer or who have got cancer, you're invited to obviously go to a centre at any of the hospitals for Look Good Feel Better. And what we do is you're all there with all the other ladies who are in similar situations as yourself. And it's amazing. Like you feel so good after you've been out there. Like it's quite selfish because I get a real boost out of it. Of, 
like showing you how to put your makeup on, what you can do differently, and it's so good. So 100% I'd recommend anybody that is going through cancer that you know of, I would definitely advise Look Good Feel Better to go there. It is amazing. I'd probably say Be More Punctual is another one as well. I'm always about five minutes late. And instead of being five minutes late, I'd like to be five minutes early. So it's just doing these videos. I'm about a couple of hours late for this as well. And I've promised Paco a surprise. So I hope he really appreciates this because he was watching my videos and I thought, you know what? Seeing as he's away, you know when you can just tell someone who just needs a bit, a bit of a pickup. This is hopefully my pickup for him. So I hope he likes it. Start taking more opportunities. So start taking advantage of more opportunities. So if someone says, oh, do you want to come here? Start going, yes, 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 yes. Obviously, you know, within reason as well. Don't worry or stress. Now, this is something that I became very ill with because I suffered from IBS because due to worry and stress. And it was quite bad. Sometimes it does flare up occasionally, but the calmer I say, the better. And I thought, I'm just gonna be thinking about doing this video all night and I wouldn't get any sleep because I'd be constantly thinking about what to talk about. So I thought I'd do that now. So that's one less worry and one less stress as well. Save money is another one. Now my money's not too bad, but it would be nice to be able to save something. So I'll go, ooh, I've managed to save so much amount. So definitely money is something that I would like to be able to save. Keep treating people how I would like to be treated. I am someone, I would say that I've been brought up very well by my mother and my father, or mum and dad, however you wanna say it. And I would always say to myself that I would carry on wanting to treat those how I'd like to be treated. That's something I definitely like to live by. Uh, be more organized. Hello, Pixie. There you go. As you can see, I still have my lovely cat. It was her birthday on the 4th of January as well. So, happy birthday. So, I don't know if you can hear her. You probably can. Are you talking? No more? No, she's not talking. Be more organised. That is something I definitely, definitely would like to become. Sometimes I go through periods, though, of being really organised than being really unorganised as well. Making more time for people and staying in contact and text back straight away with people. I am terrible at texting people back. For those of you who know me, you will know that sometimes you literally need to give me about five messages. And I don't do it deliberately or to be rude or to be a pain. I just do it because I look at the message and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll text that person back later. And then it doesn't ever seem to happen. So I do apologise if I have ever done it to any of you. But sometimes I can't help it. I would actually like to do this one because I've got told it's a really good experience. Going to the cinema on my own. And I've got told it's very liberating. It might sound to some of you quite depressing. But I thought, actually, I might as well take that opportunity up. So once I find a film that I'd quite like to see and that I'm excited to see. I'm not just gonna go and see any old film. It has to be a nice experience. And then I'd end up taking myself to a nice cinema like Nottingham. Their seats are amazing, by the way. At the Nottingham Showcase Cinema, over there, that's amazing. The seats are so spacious, it's amazing. Make more meals. So I can cook, I just don't cook enough. And I think that's one thing. Again, I think that's all to do with being more organized is being able to cook more as well. Take more pictures. This is something that I would like to do on a regular daily basis, is just taking pictures. Now, I just kind of rely on everybody else to take them rather than myself. So taking more pictures is definitely one. And obviously I've already said this, but I absolutely love pandas and I'd love to go see some more pandas as well. So that's kind of it for now. Obviously I would probably add a bit more to it, but that is my 2017 list. There you go, guys. But I just thought, you know what? I might as well do this video, dedicate it to Paco. So, dear Paco, hopefully you enjoyed it. But I definitely do plan to do it once a week, especially even more with Paco being away. It will be a dear Paco video. And then we'll go into more makeups and stuff like that and just talk about general chit chat. 
Okay, thank you for joining Time for Tea with V. Hope you liked, and if you did, fantastic. Subscribe, please. That would be amazing as well. 